Welcome friends, in this video we will learn how to create course content on Edinext. This is the home page of my course Introduction to Metric Spaces. Click on New section. I consider section as a chapter so I am writing the name of my first chapter which is Metrics. Then click on New Subsection to add subsection. For me subsection means section in the chapter so i am writing the name of my first section which is definition and examples to add new unit click on unit unit refers to the subsection of the chapter i am writing my first sub subsection which is definition so i will write introduction and upload some videos in this unit these are the four links through which you can add text create assignments add discussion and video to add text content click on html button there are many other options but as a beginner let us stick to text option so choose text this will create a text tab click on edit to add text in this tab after writing click on save to save the text to add video click on video button this will create a video tab click on edit to add video in this tab from here you can change the name of the tab i am writing introductory video in the default video url there is a link to default video i am replacing this link by a link of my youtube video you can add link from websites other than YouTube also. Click on save to save the changes we made. Introductory video is added to the subsection definition. Now let us try to create assignment in this subsection. To add assignment, click on problem button. There are many options to choose from. Every option comes with a template of its own. If you don't want any template, then you can start with blank common problem. Since this is introductory video, I am choosing checkboxes as an option. This adds checkbox text tab. Click on edit to add questions in this tab. Under settings, you change the name of the tab. Let us make it assignment 1. Now add maximum number of attempts you will allow to your students. Let us make it 2. Add weightage to the assignment. So let us make it 10. Note that the marks gets evenly distributed among questions that we add in this tab. Now click on save to save changes. Changes are saved now. Click on edit to add questions in this tab. The first button on the left is for adding heading. Click on it. Replace header by question 1. Replace the template text written below. Now write the question. Let us write what is metric. Keep these brackets intact. Brackets with cross mark indicates right answer and empty brackets indicate incorrect answer let us add choices in this question now to add second question first click on header replace the header by question 2 Now I want to add MCQ question, so I will click third icon. In MCQ, we use circular bracket. Bracket with cross mark represents right answer and empty bracket represents wrong answer. Now let us add text answer question. Note here that the answer entered by the students 
should match completely with the text string we put as an answer. Therefore, it can only be used for one word answers and not for theoretical answers. Now we can also add question with numerical input as an answer. Here we can mention the plus minus error that we can accept as an answer. In the first question, I have kept the error at 0. Let us add another question and keep the error to be at 0.01% Now let us try to add drop down question In drop down question all the options are kept in a square bracket and each option is separated by a comma Further, the right answer is kept in circular bracket. I have added two drop down questions here showing that how we can change the position of right answer. Now I have used all the options available. So let us save this assignment. This is how the assignment will look like. Let us try to answer these questions. Remember in question 5 we have allowed error up to 0.01%. To add discussion section where students can post their queries and ideas, click on discussion icon. This adds discussion tab. You can rewrite category section but let us skip this option for now. Now let's add new section in chapter 1. To go back click on matrix link. Click on new unit. I am writing matrix subspaces as second section. Now click on HTML to add text tab. Edit this tab and add definition. In text tab, we can customize text also. We can make the text left aligned, in center or right aligned. Also we can add bullets and we can enumerate also. There is an option to add quote. Then you can add link also in the text. To add link, click on the link icon and paste the link in URL section. We can also change the display name of link. I want to add link of pie chart that I have created using live.amcharts.com. It is an interactive pie chart and will make it easy for students to understand. So I am copying the link. Link is copied now. Let us go back and paste this link in URL section. Click on OK to add link to the text. From here you can also add HTML text. But we can skip this for now. Let us now save the text. Definition tab is created now. Now after adding contents, to make it live for students, we need it to publish. Unless we publish the changes, it will not be visible to students. To publish, click on matrix link and then click on publish link. This publishes the content and makes it visible to students. In the next video, we will see 
how all the work that we have done till now appears on LMS platform which is the student's platform.